So this is video number two on the modification of the uh, Nexus 7 antenna and this time what I uh, plan on doing as I said in the first video is I'm going to disable the internal um, antenna here and what I'm going to do is put one of my own in which will be much bigger and hopefully will be a lot more powerful than the built-in antenna here. So we're going to be disabling this but we're still going to use the actual points on there and we're going to lay out some coax and what I've done I've designed a biquad element uh, to put on the back of this so what I've actually done I've made a template which you can download it'll be in the bottom of the description of uh, a biquad element and we're going to actually use some copper tape and we're going to lay it out on top of the element here so we end up with a biquad like this and we can cut it out and we can solder some coax onto the ends here and solder onto these two tabs here and hopefully this antenna will give us much better performance and there'll be no modifications to the outside of the case whatsoever. So what I'm going to be using here is the, this copper tape, you can buy this on eBay, um, it's a little bit thick than uh, what I actually want for this application and I couldn't find any that is uh, two millimeters thick. This is actually six millimeters thick and what we're gonna do is actually cut it down into strips of two millimeter because um, this thickness, although we could uh, theoretically build a biquad antenna with this thickness, it will increase its broadband range and by that I mean it'll get uh, much more interference from other frequencies top and bottom of the 2.4 gigahertz so uh, we really want to keep it uh, a little bit thinner than this so uh, we get a much better signal at that 2.4 gigahertz range so to actually cut this it's really really easy I've uh, cut a piece of the foil off here into a more manageable size and get a straight edge and what I'm going to do is actually just eyeball it I'm not going to measure it but uh, roughly get three pieces out of uh, one strip so I'm about happy there with it now what you want to do is not try and cut through all in one go so you want to cut through doing several scores so very gently score across it and now cut straight through it so what we've got now is uh, a piece which is roughly two millimeters and it's much more manageable so what you want to do you want to download the template it's uh, in the description box below and uh, get your pieces of foil tape and what I've done I've actually put a straight edge here so you can actually use that to measure off your lengths of the element and then put them into place here so measure it off and I find it a lot easier again if you just put a mark where you want to cut and then if you bring it over to a flat surface and then cut all the way through and that way you're not actually uh, going to end up cutting your template it's uh, a lot easier to manage so I'm going to lay down the first element and I'm going to start with this one here so move your template around and get it into a comfortable working position and I'm going to start just here putting it up against this black line here and I'm working on the outside of the black line and lay it down getting it as straight as possible so it looks something like that and when you're happy that it's in position just get a spudger and get it stuck down nice and flat. Now the reason why I'm working on the outside of the line is I've designed this template to be just over 31 millimeters for each um, bend here. So each quarter wavelength is just over 31 millimeters and you want to try and keep that on the inside. Because of the thickness of the tape the outside will be slightly, slightly bigger but if you keep that inside at quarter wavelength exactly it'll be fine so now we're going to lay this second element and what we're going to actually be doing is starting on the inside of this element here so I'm actually going to lay it down there so you have got this kind of triangle where those two ends don't quite meet up but 
that's fine. So again, move your template around so you get into a nice comfortable working position and lay it down on the outside of the black line. So you just want to keep going all the way around the bi-quad until you've got them all covered with um, copper tape. So once you've got all the copper tape on it should look something like this and as I said you've got these little triangle shapes here where the actual elements themselves don't quite meet up but what we're going to do is we're going to put some tin on those uh, gaps there just to make sure we've got nice contact between each element. So just apply some solder on each end and just flow some over the top like that and now we've got a nice connection. You can actually just kind of paint this on, it's really easy to work with with this tape. So once you've got them all tinned up, then uh, cut it out so it's much easier for you to work with. So the coax we're actually going to be using is uh, this coax that you normally find in laptops connected to the laptop antenna. And uh, this has come out of a sacrificial laptop. I've got uh, quite a bit of this coax that I've saved from uh, scrapping different laptops over the years. And also you can buy this on eBay uh, by the meter. Um, if you can't do that, you can also buy a couple of um, salvaged laptop antennas and uh, cut the cable off and, and use that. It, uh, they only go for a couple of pounds normally. So what I'm going to actually be doing is I'm going to be stripping this back and then uh, soldering the centre connector to one side and the outer braid to the other side and this kind of uh, design of antenna it just, uh, it's all looped together so uh, it's very very easy to make. So I've cut the coax back and I've pre-tinned the ends cut them to the length that I'm quite happy with because I'm going to solder it on over the top like so. So because I pre-tinned them I've just got a little bit of solder on the end of my iron and I'm going to put the centre connector in place first and now the actual outer connector like so. So we've now got our antenna connected up and uh, everything looks good. So I've got the nexus apart here and I've got the uh, cover that I'm actually going to modify at the side I'm trying to decide where to put this antenna. Now the actual original Wi-Fi antenna which is over here um, is probably put in about the best place you could probably put it to uh, get some nice omnidirectional coverage because um, if you've ever played around with a Nexus and looked at uh, its uh, different signal uh, strengths um, depending on how you hold it you will find that um, the signal, if you hold it at the back towards the access point, you will get a better signal than you will from the front because the LCD screen and the PCB etc all block uh, those Wi-Fi signals coming from this antenna so you don't get um, an exact coverage omnidirectional wise all the way around. It uh, does turn this into uh, a bit of a directional antenna. So what I've decided to do is place the bi-quad onto the case here. I'm going to get rid of some of this shielding, get it out of the way, uh, so we can actually attach it directly to the case here. But uh, it's going to be buttered up um, to the back of the lithium battery. Now, lithium is metal, so this battery is going to act like a reflector in a fashion. So if we point it at the access point at the back, of the Nexus 7 we're going to get much better coverage than we probably will from the front but uh, we'll see how that works out. So I've decided to put it down here on the back of the case and what I've actually done I've marked out where I'm going to cut away this foam so it can uh, sit in between there so we're not modifying the back of the case too much from the uh, original but uh, I have noticed here this uh, silver part here is actually metallic it's uh, very thin copper shielding tape so all that has got to come off where you're actually going to sit your antenna otherwise uh, it's going to block the signal but it really is thin it's almost like a paint so I'm just cutting away the copper shielding so we can fit our antenna in place and this here this uh, it looks silver this definitely is a kind of metallic paint 
for shielding because it is conductive. So I've got to scrape away and remove all that paint as well. So I managed to scrape all that shielding away, the shielding paint, and uh, it's going to fit quite nicely in there in between that foam. So I'm just uh, looking now where I'm going to lay the actual coax and unlike the first modification I did with the external antenna I don't have to go around any of these components I should be able to there's plenty of room for me to lay it flat over the top so I can take a more or less direct route to uh, the two points here that I'm going to solder onto now I am going to use uh, my own tape again to replace these solder points like I did in the last one and uh, it doesn't matter which part of the coax are soldered to which pin because uh, this uh, antenna design is a loop so it really doesn't matter which one's the driven element and which one's the shield. So to finish this off I've just put some clear tape over the top of that antenna. I just basically don't want uh, any of the uh, copper elements or soldering breaking through that paper and actually uh, coming into contact with the back of that lithium battery and the coax cable I've just epoxied it and routed it in a way where it's not going to come into contact with anything on that motherboard there's plenty of clearance and of course you don't have to epoxy it in place you could just use some tape it, all this is going to be hidden and nobody's going to see it at all once uh, the back cover is on so now that we've done that I think the only thing left to do is to see uh, what this modification is like and hopefully it's improved things a little bit but uh, this is uh, something I haven't done before and uh, I'm rather interested myself to see uh, if it does. So first of all I've got the original back on the Nexus 7 so we can compare the modded back with the original and I'm in the amber there so uh, not a very good signal at all but to be fair I'm connected to my test router and I have put it at quite a distance away so we can uh, actually see some significant change hopefully with the modded back. So we've got the modified back fitted now so let's have a look at that signal strength hopefully it'll be up in the green so not bad at all so uh, much better and improved signal just by uh, modifying that internal antenna and of course the beauty of this mod is from the outside it just looks like a normal Nexus 7 So uh, I hope you found that interesting and if you did please as always give it a uh, thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you on the next one.